The streams, the ponds, and the coastal waters are beginning to awaken. Hi, I'm Bill Sisson, the editor of Anglo's Journal, and I hope you and your loved ones are safe and well. I also hope that you find the time and the opportunity to get out and do a little bit of fishing. I don't think there's anything better for our mental health. The spring issue of Anglo's Journal is just going on sale, and I think it will provide some entertainment and some enjoyable reading. And I also think the stories will serve as a reminder of the world that waits for us when the coronavirus finally passes in our wake. In this issue, we'll introduce you to an extraordinary striped marlin fishery off Magdalena Bay in Baja, where it's possible to catch as many as 200 marlin in a day. That's a lot of fish. We'll put you in the boats, and we'll take beneath the surface our packs of marlin feed on Pacific sardines and mackerel. Some of the photos are truly remarkable. We also take a close look in the spring issue at six fish that have lots of fans. Swordfish, Atlantic salmon, wahoo, jack creval, largemouth bass, and cod. I'll read the opening to Topher Brown's essay on Atlantic salmon. I have misspent the last 32 years of my life in pursuit of Atlantic salmon, Brown writes. I have very little to show for it. A dented Subaru, a singular collection of double-handed rods, enough fly lines to stretch from Doketown to Brunswick to Cascapedia, Quebec, a handful of beat-up Bogdan reels. I've never been married and I have no children. I have a lawn consisting of cedar chips. My neighbors complain, he says. That's good stuff. A good, honest story. Angler's Journal also travels to Alaska, where a Wyoming angler spends three days fishing for giant halibut. The angler gets his big fish, but the story takes some interesting turns. Come on aboard. When Noah Davis gets married beside a pond this year in Pennsylvania, there'll be one less guest at the ceremony. The 30-inch, 9-pound brown trout that had been happily dining on brookies, salamanders, mice, and ducklings will be missing. Noah caught the big fish on a three-way, and his fiancée says she is sorry the big old trout won't see their wedding. Noah says the good news is there'll be plenty more brook trout present to witness the nuptials. And finally, I want to introduce you to a lifelong fisherman named Bill Beatty, who has amassed a remarkable collection of rods, reels, lures, photos, and other assorted tackle in his third floor attic. So climb the steep stairs, pull up a chair beside the wood stove, and listen to the stories of swordfish, stripers, fluke, and yellowfin tuna. Not all the big ones get away in the attic. Thank you again for watching and reading Angler's Journal. I hope you all remain healthy and are able to get back on the water soon for the real thing. In the meantime, I hope the magazine serves as a worthy substitute and a nice distraction. I'm Bill Sisson for Angler's Journal.